it, I, I love paradoxes. Uh, <laughs> glad that you bring paradoxes. Um, I think it's a, it's a very important paradox. And actually, from my from my view, we never get performance improvement without a combination of collaboration and competition, or it's very hard to sustain that kind of performance improvement. So you need a balance between the two in order to drive rapid and sustained performance improvement. But one of the areas that we've spent a lot of time uh, investigating in this context is uh, extreme sports, where there's a relentless focus on performance improvement. People, those athletes are constantly challenging themselves and challenging each other to get to the next level of performance. Uh, and you find very interesting blends between competition and um, and collaboration. Uh, we've spent a lot of time on big wave surfing. And uh, if you've ever been to a big wave surfing competition, there's extraordinary competition to, uh, to get the, the winning position. And yet, on a day-to-day -day basis, these big wave surfers are constantly collaborating with each other, helping each other to figure out what they can do to get better at what they're doing. And and again, I think one of the one of the elements that supports this balance between competition and collaboration <clears throat> is the passion of the of the athlete. They are deeply, deeply passionate about what they're doing, and and that drives them get to the next level of performance, but it also drives them to connect with other people who share their passion, and they are drawn to them, they want to learn from them, they want to learn from each other. Uh, one of the interesting stories uh, that uh, recently occurred was uh, there's a major competition in big wave surfing uh, at Mavericks here in California, and uh, they hold it once a year, and uh, in one of the recent competitions, the three uh, semifinalists were were um, paddling out to ride the, the wave that would determine who would get the prize, who would uh, be top uh, performer. And as they as they paddled out, they were talking with each other, and they agreed. They decided that they would whoever won, they would share the prize, money uh, in in the reward. Because they said, "Look, we're all you know we're all at the top of our game. We all deserve this. Um, so let's share the prize." And and yet they competed very aggressively to figure out who would be the winner of that final wave. I mean, they they it was important to them in terms of pride and, and demonstrating their performance to get to that next level. Mm -hmm. But they were sharing the prize with each other at the mm -hmm. same time. So I think it's an interesting example of the balance. Uh, between competition and collaboration.